My name is Rufus Daglow. Uh, I'm a comic book artist and an animator. Uh, I've uh, worked on a lot of projects uh, uh, internationally, like Tank Girl, Metal Gear Solid, uh, Judge Dredd, uh, and uh, stuff for DC Comics. Um, I work from uh, Margate and Kent uh, in the United Kingdom, and uh, I'm over here this weekend in Dusseldorf at the uh, Open Source Festival. Uh, I'm very lucky. Uh, I'm pretty much busy most of the time. Uh, I'm working on a bunch of my own projects uh, and working with uh, some of my favorite writers uh, on some new book projects, uh, as well as working with some of my favorite bands. Uh, I've been doing recently a lot of uh, uh, artwork for uh, some of my favorite punk bands from when I was a kid, and it's been really nice because I've been able to do a lot of it digitally. I think I was one of those kids who, um, uh, from a very early age, uh, I very quickly decided I wanted to be an artist. My dad took me to see Star Wars, and I very quickly decided that if I couldn't be a, an X-Wing fighter pilot, uh, I was going to draw them. So uh, I went home and started making my own comic books, and uh, ever since then, uh, I've, I've made art. Uh, I was very lucky that um, I got into the animation industry and that gave me the opportunity to become a professional artist and from there on I went into comic books. Uh, I was very lucky. My, my parents were very supportive. My, my parents are both quite creative people, uh, so they, they very much wanted me to do something that I loved. I think what's really great about doing art for a living is that uh, you get to combine not only what you love, but with the people that you love. I've got to work with many of my heroes, many of the people that inspired me when I was a kid. And uh, I've also met a lot of uh, young people who are now are inspiring me uh, to try out new things as well. So it's very cyclical. And uh, I think art is uh, truly unique in that ability to, to let you uh, play with your dreams and inspire other people as well. I think to be a professional artist, uh, you really need to have 100% commitment. You need to really love what you're doing. Uh, if, if you can do any other sort of job, you should probably do that job. But if you really want to be an artist, you have to live, breathe, and, and eat art. And uh, uh, both me uh, and my, my partner, we, we both uh, we make art every day, all day, and, uh, and we love it. And uh, the great thing is we get to travel all around the world and meet other artists and other creators and other makers and see what they do and how they do it and try and learn from them. And, uh, and, and we try and inspire them with what we do as well. So uh, it's about having the commitment and, and also just the 100% desire to, to try and make something new. For me, what really inspires me an artist is telling a story. Uh, that's why I, I gravitated towards comic books. Uh, I wanted to be a storyteller first and foremost. So for me, it's about narrative. It's, it's about telling you about other people's lives. It's about learning about other people. And the great thing in comic books is that I can do a science fiction story and I can get people to engage with politics, religion, love and life in a way that I couldn't if I was just telling a story about contemporary life. Just by adding something as simple as a spaceship, people will pay attention. People love Star Wars not because you know it's you know just a, a series of spaceships. It's about the people, and all good stories are about the people. So uh, for me, it, it's, it, it all comes back around to, to people. I, I think for for all artists, uh, probably the, the biggest challenge is ourselves. In that um, you're always very self-critical. I've never met an artist who liked their own work. Uh, I think more now than ever, the, the great thing is, is that we have more control over our work than ever before. Um, in the past, when I did artwork, I had to um, do the art and then send it off for it to be finished off by a company. Whereas now, uh, working digitally, I can do everything myself. And um, I, I can literally produce a whole book in my own home and, and send it off to the printers. And having that sort of control and, and that sort of uh, power over your own work is, is a really incredible thing. I, th I think both formats uh, ha have their strengths. I mean, for me, to draw something traditionally is nice because at the end of the process, I have a piece of artwork I can sell. Uh, I think the wonderful thing about doing things digitally is I, I can infinitely change things, I can correct things, I can uh, change them for di different formats, and I can also do things really, really quickly. Uh, if anything, I would encourage other artists to get out to live events, particularly anything run by the Wacom Experience Center, and actually come and experience what other people are doing, because I've learned more from actually watching people in the flesh standing over their shoulder than I ever have in tutorials online. Seeing tutorials online is one thing, but actually standing there and being able to talk to an artist is another. So, you know, come and say hello. It's important. It's, uh, we're all part of a community.
I mean, there's so many things coming out, things like virtual reality, things I can barely wrap my head around, let alone spell. Uh, so um, I, I, I think I think it's one of those things where we're going to have immense uh, uh, technological increases in the next few years, you know, uh, uh, for drawing, doing graphic artwork like myself. But I, I think it's also going to be one of those things, a bit like vinyl, where uh, people are still going to come back to traditional things and want to combine the two of them. So I think it's important for digital um, companies to, to realize that a lot of artists want to physically work with media and want to be able to combine that with digital um, technology because so many of us actually want to be able to hold something in our hands or put it on a wall and, and actually have something that you know, we, we've, we've tangibly made. So I think the more that we can actually figure out ways of combining those two things, I think the happier artists will be. What I'm next looking forward to is I'm, I'm doing a, a series with one of my favorite writers, a guy called Peter Milligan, who's done a lot of stuff for DC Comics in 2000 AD. He was uh, one of my heroes when I was a little boy. I actually uh, lined up to get his autograph when I was 12. And uh, I'm now getting to work with him. So uh, for me, that's a real thrill. And uh, we're doing a brand new series uh, for 2000 AD, which again was my favorite comic when I was a kid. So uh, I'm literally getting to do my childhood dream. So uh, yeah, I feel incredibly fortunate. And, and to be able to do that, to draw it all myself, and to show it to other people is, is a real dream come true. And so I think it's important for people to realize that if you want to do something, you can. You just need to actually get out there and do it.